We're broadcasting live from New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans, and the world capital of country music. Oh, I just love country music, Grim. Always some sweet song about a man's family or his dog. Or how he had sex with all of them. There's my smokes. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Midway Mutants battle. The Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. Boom! And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Not much there, maybe a yard. Third and four. First and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pen. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. Second down and a lot. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. The punishing hit. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. First down. And 
It's first and ten. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. You can't keep a good mutant down. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. This really puts the fun back in football. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Nice run for five yards. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Second down and five. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And 
And that'll bring up second and one. He should have had that one. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back night. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. And he's on to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham.
And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. That was just another day at the office for this guy. Uh, even though he killed his boss at his old job. That's why they drafted him. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And we're at the two-minute warning. I got to pee. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out. because Oh, now the offense is getting killed. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And that is caught for a first down. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters. Then. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. He 
He's it in there for a four yard gain. Second down and six, and that'll be their final timeout. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's all those power the green. What the high cool. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here, and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Briggs started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And he's running like a... Oh, nice hit. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down and five. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. Zone with a 
burst of speed. I think he's warming down this guy to the speed feed grip. He's running from his name. It's clear. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Scrambler. And that'll bring up second and one. Huh? 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 You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. <laughs> Second down and five. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. Second down and more offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. right there folks and it's first and ten and they've had enough the offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref 
First down in a mile. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down in a very lot. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Pow! With the brain scrambler! That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Second down and nine. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big that the last time he saw 90210 was on the bathroom scale. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit! And that'll be second down and four. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. You gotta be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Friend. Team hates it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball dirty trick. Oh, and that's what you call a killer one-hitter, folks. I did a killer one-hitter once at an ungrateful, undead riot fest. I woke up with three guys gnawing on my kneecap. And the defense was all over that fumble. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him.
and it's first and ten. point attempt. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! Now that's just the first down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I have a quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. The quarterback rigged the ball to explode, and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Second down and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and three. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. First down and one. Hot. Hot. Why? Oh, man, he really won. Ouch. What is this, 80s wrestling? The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot. Hot. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. Why go 
for one when he could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would... Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and... The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and... And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them, time out. To stop our own. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Misses that extra point. Oh, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Gonna shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up second and one. We're at the end of the fourth quarter, and the score is tied, and that means overtime. It's a brand new game now. There's more blood on the field than players at this point, Bricks. Bricks, overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Here comes the kickoff. And it's first and ten. That's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and five. 
If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Third down and five. You've got to catch that. I'd be impressed if he splits the upright from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face.